It's that time again and the tea tree has bloomed and blossomed and I have just picked some tea off of the tree so I'm getting ready to go ahead and prep that and prepare it and show you guys how I do it once again so I already picked them and what I left on here is the if you see the color of this it's a light green the ones that I usually pick are darker green I don't know Got any left on here I can show you. But yeah, I think I got most of them. But if you look down there, you see two little green, greener color. I mean darker greens. And I think there's even one right here that's curled up. Um but see these are all light green now. And this is what's what I left for it to continue blossoming. And then once they turn green or darker, I'll come back and get those. But I will show you guys what I got over here already and we're going to just go ahead and uh, here we go now so see these leaves we're gonna go ahead and prep these wash them and then put them in a pot and if you can see these are a darker color than the ones that were outside so they're about ready to um yes they're darker and some of these guys are huge. I don't know if this camera does any justice, but these things are huge. So the next process is to wash them and then roll them and curl them. And then uh, let them dry out. You can either dry them in the oven or air fryer or let them sit out. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it this time. I might, I usually put them in the air fry, but I don't think I'm going to put them in the air fry this time. I think I'm just going to let them air dry. Um, or I might put them in the oven. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But right now, we're going to go ahead and wash them, put them in this pot right here, and just rinse them. And the process of this will determine the type of tea you get, how you do it. If you wait too long after you pick them, and to process them, then you'll you'll get more of a what they call of um, black tea. Um, so if you like, kind of do it quickly, you'll get more of the greener tea. And it just depends on how long you um, steam and boil it before um, you let it dry. So that's the difference. You know, you'll either get a bitter, because I think black tea is kind of bitter in my opinion, or you'll get a greener tea. One of the good things about this is that when you are doing the prep, that first little boil, um, that tea wine that it makes, that's what I call it, that first little bit of juice that's sucked out of the leaves, you can actually drink that. Some people pour it off and throw it away, but that's tea, so and it's really good. So you got that little bit from the boil process that you can save. And then when you actually dry it out and use the tea again. So I'm going to spare you guys the, the um, video of watching me wash this out. And I'll come back. And also while I'm waiting for my water to warm up so I can rinse everything. Is this is actually a lot of tea for just one person no it might not look like much and it will shrink down but this tea this is a lot like I'm still eating off of what I did last year I'm still drinking off of that and if you see how big this leaf is by comparing this to my hand this is just one leaf all it takes is a, a leaf at this size it's all you need to make one decent pot potent cup of tea um, now here's a smaller one, and even still with the smaller one, 
one of these, I usually put one, maybe two of the smaller sizes in the cup, and that's enough. Um, our water is hot. I got some of the old tea left over. I'm going to show you. Hang on a sec. Okay. I have to flip you guys around. So this is what we're going after. And this one, you drop this in your strainer. You break it up, put it in your strainer. And this one will give you a nice, decent cup. And with this type of tea, once you drink it, you ha it has to be hot. So if you're going to use it more than once, which I have done, so you can't do that with a tea bag. You use that tea bag once, you, it's kind of hard to use it again and get a good cup. But with these, once you drink it off, once you, you know, put it back into your uh, cup, you get the water hot again, like put it in the microwave, you get it hot, you get a whole new another cup out of this. And I've actually gotten two or three cups out of one of these leaves. Um, but for the most part, I usually use two, and that'll get me a couple of cups out of uh, one serving. But this is what we're going after. All right. Now we're boiling, and what we are looking for is the color to change, almost to like a faded green. You'll see. Uh, you, you'll see. I know it's like, okay, well, it all looks green, but... You'll notice what I'm talking about. That's the only way I can tell it to you. It's almost like a brownish faded green. But again, that's also depending on the type of tea you're trying to make too. If you're going for a black tea, you want to cook it a little longer. Um, you know, to get it as darker as, as you can. And um, So, yeah. It's pretty much that. Um, so I'm going to let this cook a little bit more and let it boil and then we'll come back to it something else that helps in your judgment of when it's done is you want the leaves to be tender and you'll know because they'll be floppy when you pick them they're like real hard and crisp but when they're really ready to be rolled because that's the next thing you got to do is roll them when they're softer and you roll them, they'll hold the position a lot better. And again, you'll see what I'm talking about when I get to uh, to that stage. But you want to definitely want the leaves to be soft. And remember that tea that tea wine or tea liquor. This is it's coming. You see the color. So we see the color of the spoon, and it ain't even been boiling that long. I'm going to let it boil long enough so I can get me some good tea liquor out of here. But here you go. This probably doesn't do much justice on the on the camera, but it's already turning on like a nice golden color. Yeah. But once the finished product is done on the tea liquor, I'll show you guys. So again, I'm going to keep this short. I'm not going to... Oh, there you go. You can see that brown in there. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see, there we go. See the brown? That's it. So that's what we we're after. That's, that's I call that tea liquor. So um you know how dark you want that, you can just keep cooking them. But also remember you're cooking the, the leaves still and just gonna determine you know what kind of tea you're going to end up with so all right i'm gonna cook this a little bit more get as much as this tea liquor i can get off of it before i pull them out these leaves are almost ready to be rolled i can tell by the the movement and then i'll show you guys that all right so this is about ready to come out and it's looking really good, the tea wise. Look at that, nice and golden. It's about as dark as I want that. And remember, this is just the the, the process of making the tea, getting it ready to be dried. And this is the, the the residue you get. And that's why I said a lot of people just pour this on off and throw it away. I've seen that. But this is absolutely tea for drinking. And I, I'm going to get me some of this. 
I already got some honey in my cup. We're going to go ahead and cut the fire off. And we're going to go ahead and pour this. Don't worry, I'm going to get those uh, leaves back up out of there. And then the residue, I'm going to pour in this bowl. Just like that. Look at that. I mean, that's slick with gold right there, baby. And we're going to get these guys ready to be rolled. I'm going to make my tea real quick. And, um... I'll be back. Okay, so I have dumped the leaves out of the pot, put them on my little board here, cutting board I use, and then literally are going to roll these. Now, I don't know if I can film this right. I want to get a good angle for y'all. I don't think I can do it with one hand, but basically, you literally roll it. Yeah, I'm going to have to, let me hang on a second now. All right. So, you know, they're kind of wet, so you got to kind of like, you know, I, I do it like this first in my hand and get them, and this is, removes any um, residue water, and you see they'll start crinkling like that, and that's what we want to do. We got to get them as crinkled as we can. Because that's the way that we want them to dry out. So I just literally do this. I roll them in my hands like this. For several minutes. Make a little ball. You know, roll them hard too. Put a little pressure on them. To get them the strength. There we go. See how they're getting? Yeah, and that's what I want. I want them to be crinkled just like this. <clears throat> and listen, I'm going to have to do them quite a few times. If you do this over a plate, <clears throat> you'll notice that the, the juice is green. Essentially, green tea. Like I said, the process of how you do this is going to determine what you're left with. So we should have a pretty good tea. I still got a lot of juice in here. I can feel it. <clears throat> starting to get how I want them and again I'm going for you know like a little crinkle because when they dry they're going to break up anyway and then I'll break them up even more see this is the idea here let you focus on that there it is So that's the kind of crinkle we're going for, for each individual leaf. See, I still got some big ones. And now there he is. So sometimes I do go through and do individual ones. I know you guys probably want to see this, but that's it. And I'm actually going to just go through and do each like that because once they dry I'll break them they'll break like little twigs and that's the gist of it and then once you dry them out they're ready for brewing okay <clears throat> so I rolled them all and it might not seem like a lot and there's my tea yeah, let me tell you, it's good, man. Mm. So 
So, yeah, I rolled them. And now I've decided I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven this time and let them just air dry on real low, probably like about 160, 180, and just let them dry out. <clears throat> um, 140 to 120 is good too, you know, just depends on, on you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let these guys dry. And I'll tell you something, <clears throat> this is a uh, very... Um, this is about as organic as you're gonna get. And this stuff is expensive if you buy it in a store. I actually have a store up here. It's a, um, I believe it's a Chinese or Asian owned liquor store actually. And they sell this. And it was like a little block like that. It was maybe a few ounces. And it was like $50. And I was like, wow. I asked the lady out of curiosity. I said, why is this so expensive? And she said, oh, because this is the real tea in its natural form and it takes so much to make. And I already knew, but I just wanted to know what she was going to say. And then she started showing me they had cases of it and they had it in different kind of like cases, almost the size of this board. It was a case of it and it was like 300, 350. So I was like, wow. So essentially... This could be ideally a ten fifteen dollar cup of tea right here. Um, thinking about it, you know that on pure form, it's just like wine. A lot of people just don't know or not as educated about tea because you see all these different flavor teas and pomegranate and strawberry and da 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 da, and you know all that is is dried up fruits and stuff that's added to a particular cheaper version of tea to make it taste good um and speaking of which i don't know if i showed you guys this before but even when i when i want like a strawberry or a pomegranate tea i dry my fruit out and i make my own tea with that and i'll show you guys i believe this is strawberries here these have been i did these probably several months ago and i'll take pieces of these and put them right in my tea along with when i'm straining it and there you got it, real strawberry tea. And I do that with all the fruits. So that's going to conclude this. All I got to do is dry it out now. And, um, and that's our finished product. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy QDZ, the double easy, and I'm out.